right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 27th of August. 27th of October, wait a minute. All right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 27th of October. Whew, November, just around the corner here and uh, a lot of great releases coming out this time of year like our George Comte de Vogue wines from Burgundy. And every year I say, man, is it worth putting out a release? We only get like 24 bottles in total of four different wines from this famous property as old as the hills and infinitely more respected, as Charles Dickens would put it. And uh, this is a property goes, well, the village Moosini goes back to the 14th century. The family with that name uh, kind of vanished into obscurity. But this property, the Devogues, uh, laid claim to it back in 1766. So a very long time ago, five generations of Devogues. And, uh, well... Uh, you know, this is a very fufu shishi area. And when you own Grand Cru, some of the greatest Grand Cru vineyards like Bon Mar and Moussigny, a lot of these owners lived in Paris. But the Georges Comte de Vogue, the most famous owner in recent history, uh, did play a big part in at the property, although also did live in Paris. But these wines, like I said, Moussigny, my favorite Grand Cru of all, only 4,000 cases in total of the some odd dozen or so producers that make it. So tiny tiny amount of Moussigny for the world. That's why we only get six bottles a year. The Bon Mar at the other end of the Chambon Moussigny village, uh, also fairly small, about the same size as Moussigny, maybe a little bit bigger, but uh, uh, one of my favorite Grand Cru's as well. And this producer has got quite a bit uh, big holdings in each of those areas. And then Chambon Moussigny, my favorite village of all. I just love the finesse. And even though they're not big wines, uh, they are very nuanced wines. And these wines last a long time. Look, we've got a 90 in mag of the Bon Mars here. This wine's still a baby. It's on this offering along with the few 2011s we have left. The 13 Vintage, which is the current release. Another outstanding year in Burgundy. However, another short year because of crops. They've actually lost, in the last six years, two entire harvests in Burgundy. So, again, a really small allocation. But hey, we're going to put everything we've got in Older Vintage Burgundy on this offer for all you Berg fans. We just picked up another huge seller, so check it out of some amazing deals. A lot of Grand Cru stuff here from vintages like 76, 78, 83, 85, 89, 96. Wow, a treasure trove of Burgundy for you Burgundy lovers like me. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.